Hello everyone! In this video, I'll be going over how I created the binary black hole painting you see here. I first started off with a rough sketch of what I thought the finished painting might look like, then added a very diffuse layer of yellow to represent the diffuse background starlight, before stippling some more yellow dots to represent more resolved stars. Next, I added some dusty clouds to the background using umber, whether raw or burnt I don't remember, then used a compass to work out the black hole silhouettes. I then used flexible modeling paste to paint the black holes, and yes, I'm keenly aware of the incongruity of it being white. I want them to have a real three-dimensional presence on the canvas, even if they would be painted featureless black afterwards. Following that, I stippled some more yellow and blue stars into the background, expanded it a bit, then added another thin layer of diffuse yellow. I also worked on the painting upside down for a while to get a different perspective on it. I want the background to feel like it existed in multiple layers and had some real depth to it. I'm not sure how well the effect came off at the end, but it was interesting to try. The background still felt rather bland at this point, so I decided to liven it up with some nebulae of different kinds. Magenta, representing ionized hydrogen, and blue, signifying dusty reflection nebulae. Eventually, I got around to painting the black holes, well, black. I used Black 3.0 from Culture Hustle, which is the flattest, mattest black paint currently available to artists. Here, we're literally watching paint dry to show you how the water evaporating from the paint turns it from glossy to flat and matte. I touched the black holes up a bit since the first coat was a little thin in places, then added some more opaque dusty nebulae since I'd painted over the first bunch. I then added a whole lot of individual foreground stars, which really helped me see the painting as taking place in space. It's always tricky trying to get a realistically random looking star field, but I think I did a decent job on this one. I used both cool and warm whites for the stars to give them a little variation in hue. Finally, I added the accretion disks of hot gas around the black holes. I was happy with the painting before adding them, but I feel like these really brought the entire thing to a whole new level. The bright, saturated orange really stands out well and offsets the black and magenta. The accretion disks are made up of very hot gas, the light from which has been redshifted by the black hole's intense gravity to the orange and red part of the spectrum. I used an actual NASA simulation to get the look of gravitational light bending down, which is why the disks are visible all the way around each black hole. The disks came out slightly too symmetrical looking, and since I'd forgotten to account for relativistic beaming, I made the left sides, which are rotating towards the viewer, a little brighter to simulate it. Finally, I touched up all the dusty parts in the background and added a few more, which I think turned out well. Then a quick signature, and the painting was finished. Hope you all enjoyed this quick look into my painting process. 